Welcome everybody to my first um, cash stuffing for March. I'm behind, I've been sick. <laughs> As you probably heard my last couple of videos, um, have bronchitis, sinus and right ear infection. I'm on the mend, but it's taking a while. But it's a beautiful day here in Magnolia, Delaware. The sun is out, but the wind is cray cray. <laughs> My poor flowers just don't know what to do right now. Like, it'll we'll have snow drifts, you know, and then it'll be 70 degrees and then crazy all over again. So, anyway, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Robin Voke. I do a little bit of everything on this channel. I have been budgeting, cash stuffing, and all of the great things since September of 2022, last year. I am 52, I will be 53 this May. And um, I am just have really enjoyed this journey. I cash stuff my extra income and what little overtime I get. Not my full paycheck, so I am considered low budget just because of what I have isn't a lot. Uh, this next stuffing, if there's going to be one for, there will be one for the end of March. It's going to be very small because like I said, I was out of work, so no overtime and no extra income from my other job, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. So before we begin, I just put up a haul video and I really wanted you guys to uh, go back and see it, but I did get a new little cash tray. I have a very small workspace. I got this one off of Amazon. And so you can see, I have a little more space to work with, with this one. It's called, um, oh, who did I get that from? Stuff with Liss, L-Y-S-S, because -S, she's Elise. And I had her put on Bless the Stuffing. You can put your, your name, my name on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook is just my name, Robin Voke. But I thought it was pretty. I love pink. It's not my favorite color, but um, I, I do love it. And it just... Um, Pulling out all the great vibes, making me feel a little bit better. And I also got this envelope from her. It says, bless this money. A really pretty iridescent. That changes. So let's see what we're going to cash stuff today. Oop, where am I going to put this? Put this right up here for now. Okay. So we should have, ooh, sorry, $395 here. And let's give it a count and see if that's what we have. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, <laughs> 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. That is correct. 300 and $95. Super excited. Let's just put them here. <clears throat> and I love cash trays and I always want to make sure I have ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, one hundreds, and placeholders. Um, I mean, not a deal breaker if it doesn't, but I, I do look for that. So, and it had it and it's just pretty. And I think it's going to just give me a little bit more room here. I put that wrong, didn't I? That's all right. So I hope everybody is well. Um, I know a lot's going on and whew, we're tired. Okay. So went on a girl's trip with my friend Christina. We went to a planner conference in Washington, D.C. Uh, last weekend <clears throat> and I'm broke. <laughs> You're going to see <laughs> I did do an unstuffing of my travel binder that I took with me. Isn't it beautiful that I got from um, uh, Princess Budgets? And I'm in love with it and it, it did me well. So I did an unstuffing of that. But some of my envelopes took a hit, but those are revolving envelopes. I haven't pulled from them yet. And I need to be okay with that because that's what I saved them for. Did use a credit card when I needed to for hotel and things. But when I came home, put my money back in the bank paid cash. So that trip paid for itself in cash from what I started stuffing from September. Okay. So this is my black wallet. In my haul video, I told you I, I got the, the white one um, that I will switch once my new envelopes come in for it. I'm looking for the lilac one. 
If any of you can tell me where I can get the lilac one, I need it in my life, please. I found it somewhere back in the winter time. I'm like, that would be pretty for spring. And I do have this one um, that I will be going to, but if somebody could help me out with the lilac one, just like this one, I would truly, truly appreciate you. But you'll start seeing this baby soon. Okay, so my little cheat sheet over here. Food has nothing, <laughs> drinks has nothing, hobbies has nothing, self-care has nothing, spoiling has nothing. Um, some change or mis miscellaneous. We have five, six, oh, there's 10. So we have $17 that I will set aside for savings challenges and $1 savings challenge. Um, and then I just have, I usually keep 16 here. I just have 20 in my wallet, so that'll go with it. And we will restuff. Okay, so let's start here, I guess. So I will be getting, let me fold this so I don't ac accidentally pull from that one. I will be getting, let's see. You know what? I'm going to come back to that because I don't know if I wanted to keep that 20. See, I'm sick, guys. I'm on meds. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> My receipts for fetch. Ugh. Most of my coins went in here, but I do have some in here. So I will do my fetch rewards. And thank you for those of you who have joined me in fetch. Saving up points for gift cards. For in the future, I'm probably probably going to save them more for like anniversary, birthday, and or Christmas time. I like to add up and just, I just love to see things grow. So when it comes time to use things, hence my spending envelopes, I get a little like, oh, do I want to? But yes, I do. Oh, quite a bit of change in there. Okay. Get rid of this. Give me a little more room. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Darn it. No, I think I was going to keep that in there. I think that... Robin. Okay. Found it, found it, found it. I am giving myself 60. Oh, my word. I can hear you guys talking to me. You're saying, slow down, take your time, it's okay. Don't rush. Others are like, girl, get your act together. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm saying to myself. Okay, food is going to get $5. So I missed the last few days of work and um, there's a part-time uh, per diem nurse, Sherry, a uh, friend of mine, and I don't do, uh, work with her all the time. Drinks is getting five. And every, we're all, I got a few girls doing this cash budget or budgeting better, maybe not the cash envelopes yet. I have two doing them. Um, but she comes and I can't say no to her when she does want to eat out because no one wants to eat out with her any other time. Hobbies is going to get a 10. And so when she texted me when I got home before I came down sick, um, she's like, I, I'm there Saturday and it was supposed to be my weekend to work. Self-care is going to get five. She goes, can we eat out, please? I'm like, yes, Sherry, for you, I will order out food. And so I forgot to text her, tell her I wasn't going to be there. And she goes, you're sick. <laughs> no one's ordering with me. I'm all by myself. I didn't bring lunch. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Spoiling is going to get five. We'll do this. I'm so sorry, girl. Oh. And then miscellaneous five. <clears throat> Ooh, hard to figure out denominations and stuff when you're just not feeling good. My right ear, I can barely hear out of it and just aches so bad. But that is my wallet wallet. Done. Moving on. So let's go to our level up binder. This is my having to be an adult binder. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get a drink. So hence the... Um, 
adulting part. This first one is taxes and is going to get $15. So that's 90. I hope. <laughs> 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. Okay. Ugh. Can't touch this. This is my savings, my personal savings. I put in what I can when I can. It's coming up there. I'm even allotting a, a couple challenges to this eventually. Um, my goal is $3,000 at the end of the year. Some of you might say that's it, and some of you be like, ooh, you're only at 720. I know, I know, I'm feeling it. So this is deposit one for March, and we are doing $50. So that will be 770. And I'm doing 220s and a 10. Let's count it up. All right. I'm so excited for my bill exchange. I love them. They're one of my most favorite to do and to watch. I've only done one, but I had a blast. I go back and just watch it just to watch it. So in my savings, I have one, two, three hundred in the bank. Three, fifty, four, four, fifty, four, seventy, four, ninety. 510, 530, 550, 570, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 740, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. What? Oh, Robin. Hold, please. Okay. 300, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 5, 7, or 770. I was right. I just can't count. <laughs> but I'm giving myself some grace. We all need to give ourselves grace. There's so many people in comments, hey, you did this wrong, you did that wrong. <laughs> I know it. I'll be the first one to tell you, but I know you guys will help me find it. Okay, so that's done. Smile um, is for my teeth whitening once these braces come off next year. So 314, it's just going to get... Um, Five dollars. Um, Four seventy-four. Sorry, that's all I have right now. So we're just gonna make this a five. Okay. So what we have: twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-five. 66, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 72, 73, and 74. That is correct. $74. I'm, um, this year it was like 511, but I got my braces put on sooner than I could have my appointment done. So I'm just aiming f between 550 and 6 for next year because I'm sure prices are going to go up as with everything in life right now. What's going on? Okay, 314. And this is Lifeline, so this is anything technology. It's going to get $5. Uh, this paycheck, a lot of it's just $5. So I have 10, 20, $35. Um, I don't really, my phone is good, but my laptop, I think in the next year, is gonna need replacing, unfortunately. So let's just start up now, add what we can when we can. It's not a huge priority but why not start when we can? And not every envelope gets stuffed each time. Um, okay, 
Okay, so this is bougie SUV. This is for a future um, car, probably not for the next few years, and it's going to get $25. Uh, 20 and a five. So, 100 in the bank, 50. Let's try this again. <laughs> 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 380, 385. I did it. I'd like to see it. I like to see that growing. Fixer upper, this is to, I wanna kinda of revamp my bedroom space this fall probably, give me time to save up. I'm not talking furniture, I'm just talking um, to make it just a zen place for me. It's not, never has been. Um, I always had other priorities like the kids and um, you know, they're out of the house now so it's time for me. <laughs> My husband doesn't care. He just needs a place to lay his head. And um, I need to give it a five as well. Okay. So, Fixer Upper now has 20, no, oh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 140. 140. Yeah, so I'm just talking some paint color, you know, some painting my walls. They're just white. And uh, this house was built in 1984 and there's still 1984 carpet in here. I'm sh like, it's just, it's horrible. Okay, debt is just getting $5. I make large lump sums with um, my savings challenges to debt. Um, but I decided to just chunk five bucks here and there away as well to help it, you know, kind of help expedite it. Do I need ones for anything in here? One, two, three, four. Let's just do it. I don't know. I can come back. So debt now has 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. My goal for this year is to pay off three of my personal credit cards. I'm close to paying off one. I have gone on two trips where I've reimbursed the credit card we used um, and paid, you know, pay that off. So I really can't be upset with myself if I don't get all three paid off. Two is more likely what I should have shot for, but shoot for the stars and land on the moon, <laughs> however that goes. Um, but I'm not going to be upset with myself if I don't get three done because, like I said, I have paid off credit cards with trips that I've gone on with the cash that I have saved. Christmas, <clears throat> the tracker is in my savings challenges, so I will color that in on the next video when I do that. Um, <clears throat> but Christmas is going to get, what am I doing, $40. So hopefully this comes out to 240. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 35, and 240. Um, never saved up for Christmas. So I'm really hoping, I mean, my goal for Christmas is huge because we don't really do a lot for the kids and the grandbabies, you know, well, I take that back. We do for the grandbabies all the time. I don't know where that came from. Um, but as far as the kids, they don't ask for much. You know, we give them a little bit of money on their birthday, but we really go out on Christmas. That's important to us. Um, they tell us each year not to do it, but I'm a redhead. I do what I want. <laughs> okay, so this is just kind of like a, a little buffer I started up. You know, when something comes up, you're like, oh, hell. So this is my well hell. We now have $20 in there. I know there's some budgeters I watch on YouTube and they're all just really having kind of a rough time right now. They've had to empty some envelopes and start all over and you can just hear the tears in their voice and I just wanna say, keep going. Okay, just keep going. If my age has taught me nothing, you know, life will slap you around all the time. 
But if you weren't saving, you would have had nothing to pull from. Then what would you have had to do? Go in more debt probably or have some dire things happen. So give yourself some grace. Cut yourself some slack. Pray to God or whoever you pray to and just do the best you can. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Okay. Now we are going into my living life binder. This is, okay. So I pulled from this for my girlfriend's weekend trip that I went on. And you saw that in my video of my unstuffing, if you saw that. Um, I could have taken all the money from here. I did take from my spending and from seasonal. Because seasonal for this quarter was going to be for travel. So I decided just to pull from that. So I'm going to get a new tracker. I'll t pull this one out. Um, I did not want to go to the bank and mess with this money. This is five, six, seven hundred dollars. I pulled three hundred fifty-two in cash that I had in here. I had uh, one thousand fifty-two dollars. I pulled three fifty-two. I still have the seven hundred. So I'm kind of proud of that. I didn't want to touch it, and I am going to give it twenty dollars today. So we just have to just slowly start adding back up again. What did I say? I said 20. It's hard to pull from something that this was meant to pull from, but I've got it in my head now. I don't want to spend my money. <laughs> if anybody understands, please let me know below, or is it just me? So that's my vacay getaway. Road tripping. I will, I'm really hoping to do like a nice long weekend uh, this spring, early summer with my husband somewhere. Uh, not too far away, just, you know, a romantic getaway, kind of just the two of us. It's always just the two of us, but two of us staying in your house, doing the same old, same old, and just the two of you going somewhere different, experiencing things together, new to you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So... <laughs> Um, this one is always just getting a 5, 10. Here, I, I put up a 20. I'm putting 30 in this one this time because uh, it's coming up. It's coming up. That season. Get out season. Okay. So we have, tw oh, what am I doing? 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 135. And I know he'll contribute too, but this is just my fun little, it keeps me going, keeps me dreaming, keeps me thinking of what I want to do. Maybe surprise him with somewhere um, that he has maybe thought of doing or something he wants to see. I don't know. Or something I want to do and I want to see. <laughs> is it all about me? No. Okay. Uh, gifts. It's coming right along. Frankly, this is another one that doesn't always get stuffed. I think the rest of these are just getting fives from here on out. Yep. Um, but like I say, someone steady wins the race, and this is definitely one of them. So uh, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85 dollars in gifts. Nice. I just love the font on these envelopes. Love it, love it. Ah! Throwing my money. Throwing my money. Not giving up my dream on bikes right now. Um, would love a trail bike. Especially when we go camping. Adding a five. So we are at 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. 130 dollars. And I've been looking, you can get them anywhere like Walmart, a hundred and something dollars to thousands of dollars. And I want a decent one. I want a comfortable one. I want a reliable one, especially if I'm out in a trail camping. You know, the thicker tires, so more comfortable seat, that kind of stuff. Planners now has 10. And when I say planners, I mean all things planners, you know, inserts, stickers, you know, all the all the good old stuff. Leftover loot is where we're going to put this from our wallet for our next stuffing. So we have 20, 35, 36, 37 dollars that we will do during the savings challenge video. Okay. 
Okay. It's still somewhat new, still trying to get it worn in. The last, oh. I have to put planner tracker back in. How come y'all didn't tell me? Robin, throw in your tracker. <laughs> okay. And lastly is the family binder. Oh, I want to cry. Um, oh, my rollover. From that leftover boot. It's supposed to go back in here. Robin. See, sex of being sick and medication. <laughs> okay, it's just getting $20. So this is one I pulled from for my trip last weekend. Um, I had $635. I took out a 105 to keep it, at, you know, rounded to 530. Um, so today I'm just going to stuff... Um, that I had left in my wallet so 550 I'm not that far off here but still it pained me to <laughs> to pull my money I could have taken more cash from here but I didn't want to so in the bank I have one two three four hundred fifty four fifty four seventy four ninety five ten five thirty five fifty and guys I shouldn't complain that's still fine um, I think Eric and I are going to actually have to start looking into some furniture. Um, you know, our furniture is so old. And, you know, kids grown up and then grand pups and dogs. And I just, uh, we need some new stuff. But neither one of us really wants to spend the money. Um, and our house is a small Cape Cod, so it's not like you can do a whole lot with it. Um, like, I can't have a huge sofa sectional, which I would just love to have someday, maybe. Okay, my honey is going to get fifty buckaroos. What? I must love him or something. <laughs> Twenty, forty. So Eric Folk now has 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 65. And he's talked about, um, he knows about this envelope now. He watched a video. <laughs> Who knew? Um, he's have talking about maybe we can use our spending money for the furniture. You know, we don't want, we just need a, a couch and a love seat, nothing super expensive, still have, you know, five grown, not that I want them on my furniture, but grand pups. But we just need comfortable seating when everybody's here. Ada girl, my sweet baby, my grandchild. She will be 20, oh, she is 21 months now. So she'll be two in June. We are all anxiously awaiting her second birthday. She's gonna get her usual five, so she'll have one. She'll have 111. 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 111. I can't wait to use a placeholder in here. That's super exciting. And then we're all waiting on baby Rachel. Um, our second child, Shelby, her and her husband have tried for years and years. PCOS has made it very difficult for her, um, but she is 24 weeks. She's due the first week in July. So this is grandbaby number two. And her and Ada will be a fun age. They'll be two years apart. Can't wait to see it. Been waiting for this my whole life. Okay, so should be 41. Wow. All right, um, but my oldest daughter's name is Rachel. So Rachel Elizabeth, after um, both of their only sisters, and so not to get things confusing, they're thinking they're going to nickname her Baby Ray, 
R-A-Y, and Shelby's middle name is Ray. It's a family spelling of W-R-A-Y. So it's kind of fun to have the two of them have something kind of similar. So baby Ray has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. That's exciting. I've got to figure out a way to even things up. I don't know. I mean, can you really even things up? Because I started at different times, you know, so it's, I'm not sure how to do that. If you guys have any advice on that, let me know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you um, helping me trying to get my mon monetization back. I had it, but then during COVID, I didn't make a video within six months. So they're letting me keep my subscribers, which I've had for, I've had a YouTube video for, or channel for 10 years. Um, it was mainly nursing school and scrapbooking, but now I'm doing this. So my subscribers count, but I had to start all over from ground zero on watch hours. And I think when someone unsubscribes too, I think there's some old nursing peeps on here that don't want to see what I'm doing right now, but I think it takes their watch hours away as well because it's up and down, up and down. It's not consistent. I don't know what's going on. So if anybody can fill me in, let me know. But for now, I really appreciate you guys. I've made some great friends on here and I just love to share the joy of saving and watching my money grow, doing good things, good intentional things. Intention is my word for the year. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to get on it while I'm here and I'm going to go ahead and film my stuffing um, challenge one for March and get that up sometime later in the week. But please watch my haul video that I'm putting up today and I'll probably put this one up tomorrow or the next day. Okay, working hard for you guys. Take care. Bye.